Welcome. Welcome to another one of my adventures. So this is the third of my uh, shakedown hikes in preparation for my uh, trip to um, Alice Springs and doing the uh, Larry Pinter Trail. Uh, so that's coming up in just less than three weeks. Um, and uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. So I'm uh, doing uh, the uh, more a uh, walk into the uh, Chugunga Wilderness, uh, which is up there. Um, and as you might have seen in the little introduction there, um, that uh, yeah, there's a bit of snow floating around um, or lying around. What you're watching is me uh, going through my plans for this particular trip. For reasons uh, that will be explained in this video, uh, yeah, what I had planned didn't come to fruition. What did transpire from this hike is that I fell in love with the uh, high country, uh, something I actually didn't realise until I got home. But uh, yeah, the beauty, the vastness, the remoteness, uh, uh, just yeah, sheer delight of, uh, of this area. Uh, plus, you know, the, the danger as well and, um, and some of the challenges. Yeah, just simply a beautiful um, part of the world. Yes, what you'll see in this video is yeah, once I get over the initial um, disappointment of uh, not doing this um, this hike, um, I yeah just succumb to um, just being present in this particular area and enjoying yeah just being part of the sort of living history, just enjoying the simple pleasures of uh, an open fire and um, and you know just being warm and dry. So I hope you enjoy the video and hopefully I've uh, just been able to capture at least in part you know, just some of the splendour of this area. Right, well let's get ourselves uh, ready and um, oh, look at beautiful sun now. <laughs> um, and uh, let's get on this trail. It's a perfect day for hiking, especially uh, going uphill a bit. Definitely a different country from uh, what I've ever hiked in before. Yeah, quite Getting different. these little rain showers every now and then. Nothing too serious, thankfully. Funny, isn't it? This place is so different from what I'm used to. I'm um, yeah, slightly anxious about it. Um, not anxious enough to want to turn back, but it's just, I've just never been in a place like this. This feels very foreign and a little slightly unsettling. Got a kangaroo. So it's good to uh, test your boundaries, I guess, in your, in your comfort zone. But yeah, I'm just feeling slightly out of my comfort zone here. Yeah, just because it's just so different. Maybe I'm just being a bit of a sook. What do you reckon, Skip? Not being a sook? Yeah, just shut up and get on. Oh, hey, blue skies and sun. Nice. All right, I'm officially here. Okay, bit of a check-in. I am just on the 8k mark. I've got another four or five to go. If yeah, those of you who've uh, followed my last couple of um, videos, you'll know that I've had a few problems with these boots. I'm uh, really glad to say I'm having no problems whatsoever today. 
So the problem was with the um, inner soles that I um, replaced the manufacturer's inner soles with some of the um, Silex, I think they are, which are a lot thicker. And I think, yeah, they, they were, that's what caused the problem. So, so far, touch wood. We're, uh, we're doing okay. Our pack is around about uh, 20k, so I've got a bit of water in there just to boost up the, the weight. And that's feeling pretty comfortable as well. Yeah, it's obviously a horse, I'd say. It's its mane. Oh yeah. It's a serious jawbone there. Oh, this is the other side of the ridge. Wow. Must be a story in that. Well, I gotta tell you, I've never felt more remote than I do right now. Not too sure how I feel about that, but all good so far. That is one wilderness, isn't it? Have a look at that. So this um, cattleman's hut that we're aiming at is yeah, down in that valley somewhere. That's just seriously spectacular. So I've just come down there and then down the zip up here. Looks easy, doesn't it? But it's bloody not. That, um, that stuff here is actually quite tall. The heather. Anyway, through the west of it, I think, and there's our destination. I was going to have a fire, but um, I've changed my mind on that. Because I need to drive these clothes walking through that heather. It's made me quite wet. It's actually quite hard to walk through this stuff. Big clumps, and there's holes so be really careful where you put your feet. Last thing I want to do a few weeks I'm doing a lot of pinter is mess up my ankle. So it be you It's certainly rustic, isn't it? Um, a bit hard to show you inside, I might need to do that in the morning. Right, just boiling up some water for some dinner. So I'm um, outdoor gourmet uh, chicken cacciatore. Uh, I'm not having the uh, um, mashed potato with it. This is a serving for two, so. That should do me for tonight. Um, I tell you what, it is bloody freezing here. So I've got this yeah, fire going and um, we're trying to uh, dry out my clothes and uh, yeah, just generally uh, trying to keep warm. Uh, but thank God for this place. <laughs> um, I think it's supposed to get below zero tonight. Uh, so it's gonna be a particularly cold night tonight. And then um, next couple of days, I think we'll be uh, a little bit um, warmer, well, say warmer, it's probably about you know, five degrees overnight, but still, I'm um, very cold, I've got to say. 
trying to get the uh, sensation back into my toes. So, um, yeah, so it's certainly very basic. I'll have to show you around in the morning. Um, and uh, there's, so, you, uh, but uh, all you need is the um, fireplace, quite frankly, and a bit of shelter. But, uh, and I'm also sharing this place with a couple of um, native mice and um, paddy melon, little native um, rodent type thing. So they've uh, been scurrying around and uh, no doubt got their eyes on my food. Um, so I'll definitely have to take my food into the tent with me. Right, so I'll say goodnight now and um, we'll uh, see you in the morning. Nice and fresh. See ya. Morning. It was uh, certainly a cold night. I was, uh, yeah, toasty warm in all of this, but... Uh, it, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a frost happening on the tent and uh, this is what I'm seeing outside, which is just beautiful. How lovely is that? get a um, beautiful sense of living in history um, sort of uh, living out of one of these huts um, I can't remember how old it is I think it's 1860 or something like that uh, built by the Kidmans hence hence the name and um, yeah, they um, brought their cattle up here to feed um, but yeah it's uh, when I was sitting in there last night huddled around the fire, drying my clothes, I um, yeah, had a sense of um, yeah, all the people who had um, been there before me and yeah, the old fellas would have done exactly what I did last night, just you know, sitting around that fire and probably drying off their clothes and trying to keep warm and um, yeah, they wouldn't have been eating you know, high protein breakfasts and sitting on you know, 500 gram chairs and all the technology and down and all that sort of stuff and yeah they would have really really roughed it but um, despite you know all the soft aids I've got um, yeah it's just got a real sense of yeah that history and uh, yeah how they must have lived up here <laughs> Okay.
Okay, all set to go. Uh, yeah, delightful little place. Primitive, but uh, yeah, delightful. And what a morning. So I've been sort of allowing things to dry off after the frost and whatnot, so it's about 10 o'clock. Um, so uh, yeah, things, uh, well, yeah, a bit later than I expected to be, to be honest. But um, anyway, got a bit of a trudge today, so 15 kilometers, pretty much uphill. So I'm gonna start at about 1500 meters and end up around about 1900. Um, so yeah, about 400 meter climb. Um, which doesn't sound too bad, but I think it's a few steep bits. Anyway, let's crack on. I know people have mixed feelings about these cans. Um, there's one up there as well. But I really like them. And I thank the people who put them there for us. It just really helps, especially in this sort of environment. But it's just no discernible track. Uh, track. Well, there is just, um, you can probably see there, and there's a little gap in the heather there, and a little gap here. But if you miss those gaps and you're in the middle of that, it's really unpleasant. Um, It's uh, hard to get through, and um, yeah, same as yesterday. These yeah, just sudden um, sudden holds. So I'm really worried about ankles and stuff. So just got to be so careful. So to the cans, people, thank you. Just helps that little bit. Okay, the trail, as far as I can see, goes up here, probably along that um, ridge there, and it goes around that top bit there. Wow, look at that. This place is unbelievable. I've never been to anything like it. It's this uh, giant basin. I imagine the skiing's pretty good here. Look through there. Quite a large mountain, I don't know what that is. I'll see if I can find out. I still haven't seen Mount Chigungal. It's up there somewhere. So the trek goes up, up that way. Uh, we might be seeing just the um, first bit of um, Mount Jagungal just here. Ooh. 
it's hard going walking through that stuff. It looks easy, but it's like walking through a big lumpy mattress. I'm actually looking forward to getting onto a fire trail. <laughs> nice steady track. And there she is. Have a look behind me there. Amazing granite outcrop. Well, that's uh, Bluff Tarn. So, assuming I make it, that'll be my fourth night sleep down there somewhere. Up right here. How lovely is that? Wow, it's beautiful. Well, this is a beautiful spot. Um, I'm uh, yeah, contemplating what I'm going to do on this walk. It's not the walk I thought it was. It's a beautiful walk. I'd love to do it. But it's, I, th I thought there'd be more trails. I, um, I just don't need off-track off hiking right now. I just need hills and something that, where I can uh, improve my stamina. But this is just too hard and I don't need it. I don't need it this hard. So I'm thinking I'm going to camp here tonight and then I'm going to head back. The only bit of uh, trail I think I'll actually be on is after this Valentine's hut um, up to Mount Jagungal and then beyond that it's all this and I don't want any more of this <laughs> I, I'd do it if um, if I wasn't doing Larry Pinter in three weeks but I'm just so many times I've been close to rolling an ankle So I'm going to set up camp here, it's a beautiful spot, make the most of this sun, have a bit of a wash and um, yeah, really think about how I'm going to feel in the morning, but I think I'm just going to turn back, take my time going back. It's disappointing, don't know what to do about it. I should have done the... Um, I should have done the hike from the west so, for, rather than um, from the east. That would have been all trails and um, probably just what I needed. But I thought I'd just try and do something different. Um, and different is nice, but it's just not the sort of different I need um, right now in my training. Um, very disappointed. Right, I've uh, set up camp back there. Um, you almost don't need a uh, a mattress or a yeah, because it's so spongy this stuff, which is the problem. So I'm uh, yeah, just having a consoling hot chocolate, um, a muesli bar, and yeah, I'll just relax for a bit and about what the hell I'm going to do with this walk. Don't know yet. So I'm um, obviously going to spend the evening here, have dinner, and I'll just think about what I'm going to do in the morning I think. Anyway, in the meantime, I found this nice, nice rocky bit here 
about the only stable bit in this damn country. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to relax for a bit. Cheers. That's actually quite nice. Oh, that sounds lovely. But it's bloody cold when it goes. So I enjoy it while I can. As a walk and a destination, this is unbelievable. It is so beautiful. That river down there is something else. It's like I'm going to be serenaded by the frogs tonight. I guess that's better than the mice. Okay, I don't know what sort of clouds they are. Snow or rain, I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, just preparing for the worst at the moment. I've uh, definitely layered up. And um, yeah, so quite uh, snug and warm. Having had a bit of a wash. Mm, could be interesting. Okay, just enjoying a little bit of miso soup. Oh, that's nice. For dinner, we're going to have one of these uh, dry foods, um, pasta bolognese. So uh, yeah, it's got a little cheese dish in there as well. So it's just uh, 330 mils of water, cooks for five minutes. All right, that looks pretty good. It actually tastes nice too. It's a bit of cheese. Very posh. That's actually really nice. Which I'm glad, because that's what I ordered. Lovely. Alright, I'm going to have some um, port and chocolate and then head to bed. It's actually quite early, I think it's about 7, 7.30. 7. 7. <laughs> um, but it's yeah, too cold to sort of hang around out here. Um, the stars are unbelievable. Uh, once that sort of cloud moved on, yeah, it's um, a yeah, phenomenal show going on up there. All right, I will see you in the morning and um, yeah, we'll work out what we're going to do. Good night. Good morning. Well, if I thought uh, last night was cold, or the night before was cold, it was bloody cold last night. Uh, very heavy frost. Um, everything's frozen. Even my bandana, which was a bit wet, is frozen solid. Thankfully, uh, my gear um, stood up to it. Otherwise, that would have been a very unpleasant night. But now yeah, I'm. Uh, I was quite warm, although with the ice sort of forming on the um, on the quilt, there were a few sort of uh, cold patches. Looking forward to the sun coming up. Thankfully, it's looking like it's going to be a sunny day. Thaw everything out. Even my boots are frozen.
Oh, there she is. Come on down. Oh, that's so welcome. <laughs> Try something different. Um, I'm going to try one of these um, sterilization tablets. This one, I've never, never used them before. All right, um, all packed up, thawed, dried, warm, beautiful. I never thought I'd be warm again. Um, yeah, geez, it was cold. <laughs> um, got feeling back in my toes and my fingers, which is all great. I'm um, trying another experiment today. So, um, got this uh, solar charger, so I've uh, hooked that up at the back there, and um, yeah, let's see how robust it is. Um, and yeah, see if it works. Uh, so, yeah, that's two things so the um, sterilizing tablets and, and them. So, uh, yeah. Uh, if both of those things work for me for the Lara Pinta, that's good. Just a magic spot, absolutely unbelievably magic. Um, the stars last night, um, I'm not too sure what the phase the moon is in, but it's um, yeah, it wasn't there. Uh, yeah, when the clouds um, uh, parted, the stars were just phenomenal. Yeah, sort of, yeah, stars in the high country, clear sky, just nothing like you've ever seen. Right, this is a very nice spot, I must say. Really, really nice spot. Looks like a little hinge, doesn't it? Okay, I'm calling this. Um, uh, I'm going to start heading back. Uh, yeah, this just isn't the right walk for me at this particular time. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful, special place, but um, I'm just finding it uh, too worrisome traveling through this. It's, it looks easy, but it's actually quite difficult. And it's not like it's just a few hundred meters of it. It is just constant. Um, this, yeah, sort of sponginess interspersed with sort of um, either yeah, where pigs been digging or or uh, where you know water's settled or, or running through and yeah, it's just yeah, it's just too hard for me at the moment. Um, so um, well, it's not too hard. It's just not the hard I want to do right now. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so I'll conquer that mountain another day. I'll come at it from uh, the other side. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to uh, yeah, enjoy this beautiful walk. Uh, whether I go all the way to the car or not, um, I think I've got about 20k if I'm going to do it. Or I just um, yeah, find a nice uh, spot to camp for another night. Don't know. Can you hear that? It's just nothing. Occasional bird. Fly. That's it. Magic. Right, let's crack on. What a shame it would have been to um, see cattle roaming around here. Which I assume is what these Holes were four at some point. Yeah, imagine the damage they must have done around here. Remnants of the uh, old wire. Okay, this is going to be home for tonight again.
right, it's quite warm in here in the sun. Can you actually see how you can? I don't think I showed it to you uh, last time I was here. So, it's nicely decorated. Somebody obviously lost a ski they found. So I just put in here. A couple of utensils. A book. Some wood. Okay, I'm going to yeah get some more wood. Um, just do my bit for that and put my tent back where it was before and just generally relax for the rest of the afternoon I think. It's uh, three o'clock. Yeah, can't say I'm not a little bit disappointed that I didn't do the rest of that track. Um, but uh, yeah, I think um, I think it was uh, the right decision to do. Um, actually, coming down this hill, I did exactly what I didn't want to do, but I it, it, uh, didn't do too much damage. I sort of hyperextended my knee, um, but that's it's fine. So it's um, it is, it's exactly what I was worried about uh, walking around here. Um, um, but yeah, it's, it's a shame, but I'll come back and do uh, Mount Chigungal uh, another day, come from the west, I think. Um, having said all that, I am making the most of this luxury of having a fire. So after last night, uh, where it was just so cold, um, yeah, having this uh, warmth is unbelievably delightful. I could not tell you <laughs> how nice it is. Um, as the sun's going down, it is it is getting colder out there, so I'm just putting layer upon layer as as it goes. Um, but uh, I'm actually um, it was nice. I got here about three o'clock, um, possibly a little bit later. Um, yeah, had a bit of a wash. First time I've ever washed in a bucket, um, or washed using a bucket. Uh, so that was um, an experience. Um, but yeah, it's nice to be yeah, nice and clean and warm. And um, I actually, yeah, getting here at three o'clock, um, yeah, setting things up. I actually got to spend a little bit of time just just experiencing this place. Yeah, just being here and um, yeah, just yeah, just sort of yeah, proper experience of it rather than sort of rush in, rush out, and all that sort of stuff. So. Um, it really is uh, yeah, quite pleasurable, uh, rodents and all. Right, well, I'm going to continue to just stare at this fire and relax and watch it get a little bit darker outside.
Okay, tonight I'm going to have a Radix meal, a Piri Piri. So, um, yeah, these Radix meals are really nice. I haven't had this one before. That looks pretty good, actually. Let's taste it. That's good too. Just, uh, really enjoying watching this fire. Just been out to have a look at the stars, and again, they are just amazing. Right, so good night now. So I'll probably can't even see me, but you can hear me. Um, so I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Okay, all set to go. Um, yeah, dried everything out. Another cold night. Um, last night um, I woke up and there was a little bit of frost, but then by the time um, uh, I woke up in the morning, the frost had gone. But yeah, lots, lots of condensation on this tent. Um, I guess uh, that's what you get for a single walled tent. Um, beautiful, beautiful morning again. Um, just a slight breeze and um, yeah cleaned up, packed up, ready to go. So I'm going to sign off here. Um, if I see anything nice, I'll uh, show you in the intro. So you never know, you might see something um, nice if you sort of uh, hang in there. So it wasn't quite the trip I um, had expected um, or planned. Um, so yeah, cutting it short two nights and obviously didn't get around that. But yeah, just uh, too hard going for what I planned or needed to do um, uh, for this um, uh, particular trip. Uh, but, you know, I ticked a few boxes, um, so that uh, Tyvek um, uh, ground sheet worked a, a treat. Yeah, really pleased with that. Um, all the equipment worked uh, well, boots are, are good, um, so yeah, it was the, um, those insoles, so yeah, no blisters. So that's great. Uh, what else? Yeah, food was great. Um, and um, yeah, body held up and yeah, it's still carrying you know, a bit more weight than I need to on this and um, and yeah that packs yeah yeah just super comfortable so um, yeah certainly ticked a couple of boxes in uh, my preparation for the Lara Pinta which uh, in two weeks time I'll be on the plane on the way to uh, Alice Springs so uh, yeah wow um, it's coming on now so um, uh, yeah really looking forward to it so yeah stay tuned for um, yeah how all that goes um, yeah that's uh, yeah, it's going to be a great trip 
Right, so uh, yeah, let's uh, crack on. And um, so where we're off to today is uh, back up this hill through that uh, through that shoulder, and then down. And uh, yeah, pretty much down. It's only about um, uh, yeah 12k, I think. Uh, so should be back at the car by lunchtime. Take care, and uh, see you next time in Al Springs. Bye. <coughs> Back onto a trail.